they don't work hard oh it's so not fair that she works full time well well let's try this good morning everyone okay so i thought i should do a video today um and I'm in the middle of making breakfast, so I might need to place you somewhere and just work at the same time. My house is a mess, so ignore that. Um, but we're just gonna carry on doing what we used to do, what we are used to do, <laughs> and come back. Right, so as you guys know me and know my videos, if you have watched my videos, then you know what I've been up to. I've applied for medicine for a few years and uh, unfortunately I didn't get into it. And uh, then I ended up doing a PA, so a physician associate. And at the moment I am studying that and working. But I haven't actually told you anything about what's been going on lately, so... This video will be a little bit of an overview of that. Um, but as you know, I basically studied Physician Associate. I uh, was on my first year. I posted some videos on my, in, uh, on my YouTube channel. Um, unfortunately, after some time, I just couldn't do it because so many things happened that I haven't actually talked to you guys about. And it's just like... It's been too much. I have had too much on my plate and unfortunately my life is always and I have always been like a movie uh, and this is one of those times, um, believe it or not, like the amount of things I went through in the last few days, a few, few months and days, um, they've just been crazy. Um, I think I did actually record something on my phone a few months back um, doing an update, but I don't think I posted that on my YouTube, which is unfortunate because at the time I was very, very depressed and I just didn't know what I'm doing with my life. So as you can say, um, you know, it's just been difficult really. Um, but I'm back again, you know, a difficult time is over. Now I'm finally ready to just, um, start again find myself again, do stuff that I used to like, and just talk more and more. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, this is what's been going on, and this is what's been holding me back, um, really. So yes, I finished my first year um, with a lot of difficulties. Guys, uh, whoever that wants to do PA, they need to think about what they're doing to themselves or what they're getting themselves into. I just realized I didn't clean my camera the way I should have. So yes, um, you need to be aware of what you're getting yourself into, whether the course that you're going to study is actually going to be suited to what you like and it's suited to your lifestyle. That's 100% uh, correct if I were to, I think whoever that's doing PA, if they listen to me, they will understand what I'm saying is actually 100% true and that you need to take that into consideration before even thinking about applying to it. So I am currently, I am currently having some breakfast because um, I'm going to work. So I did a video a few months ago uh, based on um, the, the things that you should know before you actually commit to doing PA and knowing whether it's for you or not. And I actually did explain what uh, placements there are, uh, how many you would do. I only specifically talked about this regarding Swansea University. So if you are going to be considering to apply to Swansea University, you need to know these before you actually apply. Um, so do have a look at that video. I am planning on posting it. That will be my goal for this week. So I will be posting this one and that one both together. Hopefully, um, if I manage, I want to manage because it's been months and it's ridiculous. My YouTube channel is absolutely officially ruined because I <laughs> waited for months to post a, a video, just one video. Um, I feel ashamed guys like completely ashamed uh, but yes um, you know you just need to know where you're getting yourself into um, I personally what's been going on let's get into the 
uh, important information that you guys want to know. Um, I basically ended up not being able to finish my first year. Why? Because I was working full time and studying full time. Uh, my stupid mind thinking I would be able to or capable to work full time and also do an intensive difficult course like PA at the same time so um you can imagine you know it it is not possible 100% hands down it is not possible to do a full time job listen full-time job and do that even so I want to say you can do part-time and do it it's not possible you just can't do it it's not now there may be so many people saying now to themselves that oh you probably can't do it we can uh, you know no I've done medicine with I've heard people doing medicine doing that babes <laughs> babes medicine is four or five years right PA is only two years and you have to know everything on your first year, depending on which university you go to. But Swansea University, first year, we go through all of the theories. Only um, we had like pregnancy and um, I don't know, something, some other topics left to the next, next year, which was a second year. But genuinely, you would have to know everything. So how can you do that in two years? You know, if you, you, you cannot compare PA to medicine. Medicine, I think personally, it's much, much easier than PA. And uh, to study it, you know, to study medicine is much easier because you've got more time. And I would challenge anyone who wants to say it isn't because it's, it is. Um, you're trying to um, memorize and remember and understand knowledge that should be gained within four to five years in two years. You cannot tell me otherwise. Getting back to it, I'm sorry, I'm also having breakfast whilst I'm talking. Um, I ended up basically not passing one of my exams. And I feel really ashamed of saying that, but I'm going to say it out loud because I'm tired of the dilemma or the, the negative talk about failing. I'm tired of the fact that, oh, in our culture or in any sort of culture, whether I'm white or brown or black, it doesn't matter. We are all going through the similar stuff that our parents hate talking about, hate me talking about failing my exam, hating talking about the fact that I couldn't do what I wanted to do or I didn't succeed in what I thought I could succeed in. And that's my problem, that's my issue, that's my life to deal with. So I don't want you guys to either, one, judge me, two, think that if you're going through it yourself, think that, oh, my family will think this and that of me, or oh, um, my mom's friend will um, judge me because of it, or I would feel ashamedful. No, it's your life. And I think personally, if you fail into something, if you actually fail it and fall on your knees and get into the most depressive state of your life, that way you're winning actually rather than losing. So, you know, I have fallen down multiple times in my life and that might be something bad in someone's eyes. Good for you, babes, that you got to go in, you got to fight, you got to get to medicine, you got to do PA fine, you're working your ass off. Well done. Good for you. But some of us, either it's our IQ, whether it's low or high, that's my business, that's their business, not your business. But they have gone through shit in their life. They've gone through shit in their past. They've gone through stuff that you don't know or you probably don't even know how it feels like. So you cannot sit there and tell me, oh, they don't work hard. Oh, it's so not fair that she works full time. Because I can also work full time and earn money and I will fail this exam. But now it's so unfair that she doesn't turn up to the lectures. No, babes, it's not unfair.
What's unfair is this world and how it's treating everyone. You might be flipping, having all together, having all of it together. You're married, you've got a child, you've got a house, you've got your husband's salary coming in. There are people that don't have that. They don't have that with their parents. They don't have that with their boyfriends or the husbands. They, don't, they, they have to work their ass off. And there is nothing wrong with that. You know, I get really stressed about this because I was judged a lot in the past years of my life. I'm only 24, but the amount of things I went through, whether it was financially, whether it was grief, whether it was depression, whether it was anxiety, whether it was ADHD, whether it was university shit, whether it was sexual problems, sexual abuse, whether it was physical abuse, whether it was verbal abuse, abuse, whether it was emotional abuse, I can count them up and I can give you an example for every single one of them and I can talk to you about it. But unfortunately, what is his there? And it's unfair to those people as well that judge you because they don't know anything about you and God, if they knew, they would want to be friends with you. They would want to have you in their life because you're a fucking pearl. You're a pearl that cannot be found in this whole world. You're unique. You're going through stuff, experiences, and yes, you're not, for example, um, some influencer that can write a big book. You can be, but you, you're not, and that's okay. That's okay, because you will be, because you will get there, because you will put your words out there, because you will talk about it. It might take you months not to post any videos. And I feel like I'm talking to myself right now, explaining these things to me, to understand, to tell myself that actually it's okay. Because the things that I went through in the past month, the past year, they've been hard. They've been really, really hard. Um, but I failed my exam right i failed my exam and i am not i am not going to say that i am ashamed of it what i'm gonna say is that i might regret not spending time studying the way i should have but then i tell myself is it because i didn't want to or is it because i couldn't do it is it because I was lazy or was it because I was working my ass off as a carer working at different care homes in an agency and working full time just to earn money because I had debts to pay? It's not all black and white. There is a grey in between. Let's all just think about it like that. I'm really proud of myself. For what, what I did and where I am and how much I've done for myself and my, for my life and for, for the people. Right? If you do good to people, good will come back to you. And I did my exam in October. And I passed my exam with a very, very good mark. Um, and I learned a lot actually in this journey of studying for my uh, PA course. Um, one, making my notes. Um, in the most effective way. I don't even know how to study PA. <laughs> Let's just put it there. I tried so many other, so many methods and I didn't know how to study it. I tried making notes, I tried printing the PowerPoints up, I tried making uh, lecture notes on the PowerPoint slides, I tried Anki, I tried um, uh, uh, you know active recall and everything but then at the end of the day for me it was almost like um, I had to have it on paper so I made flashcards so Anki in flashcards basically and that worked for me and I studied for six months five months and I passed my exam and now I'm waiting for my second year in September and hopefully I will start in September and my placements will start. And this is the time that I'm spending to work full time, to earn money, to save it up because the second year of your uni will be all placements. So you cannot tell me, oh, I'm going to work and, you know, every now and then on, on my second year. No, because they will send you other places. 
if you're I don't know how it works in England I don't know how it works in other universities but with Wales they will send you everywhere so you have to be prepared to drive to there you have to be prepared to pay for the obviously university pays for the accommodation but sometimes you have to pay first you have to be prepared for that you have to be prepared for not working um, you know everything that's basically what's happened and I wanted to let you guys know about it and talk to you guys about it. I will be doing another few videos again. And I know I say this, uh, but I actually do record them. I just don't post them because I don't have the time to edit them, unfortunately. But I have to put the time and work in. I work six days a week now and I only have one day off. So you can imagine, you know, how difficult it is to just edit work and everything. And um, yeah. This is it, really. This is what happened. I am here, I am alive, <laughs> I will be alive, and I will get things done, I will be successful. Um, it's just my own path, it's your path, um, and our paths are completely separate to each other. They're completely away from each other. You just do you, I do me, but at the end of the day, I will talk to you about the things that I care about, I want you to know, I will t talk about the things that in my path changed the path that I once thought that that would be my path and to eliminate those reasons for you to change your path, I am here to talk to you about them and I hope I am helping someone. Um, all I'm gonna say is hold your head up, right, hold it up and stand strong stand straight don't look around look straight right straight into your own eyes when you look at the mirror and straight when you're walking because nobody else matters no one in your uni matters no one in your school matters nobody flipping matters just go ahead this is your life it's your life you are meant to be coming here and have this together to do good, to be good, and that's all. To remove your karma, and that's all. I'm gonna talk about this more, but I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I love you guys so much, and I hope those that used to watch my videos are still watching them, and I am very, very grateful to be able to put my words out there and talk about it. Thank you and take care.